let's get started. First, these are the clips you'll need. You're gonna need a background clip from a movie, it can be literally any movie, and then you also want your actor, in this case a cat, in front of a green screen. And try to get them all the way on the green screen. Since I was working with um, Casper, my cat, he didn't want to stay all the way on, so that's why we have that like partial shot. Then I had to mask out the side. So now that you have those two clips, let's start putting it all together. So first I'm going to go and take a draw mask tool and place that right on top of my background clip. Then I'm going to key around the foreground of the clip and also invert that mask. Next, duplicate that background clip and place it underneath your first background clip. And then we're also going to uninvert that mask and then you're going to have something that looks like it's just the plain normal picture. Then place the green screen clip in the middle and also add a keyer. I forgot to show that, but once you've added the keyer on, then just place your cat wherever you want in the scene. So I kind of just placed it in the middle, trying to cover up as much as the background character as I could. Sometimes you're going to have to mask them out, but it's a lot easier if you can just make them bigger than the actual character and you don't have to spend as much time masking. So then I lowered the opacity so I could kind of get it in a good spot where I wanted it to. And then I also added keyframes on the opacity so that when the light was gone, the character would disappear. And then when you saw all that red lightning, he would be a lot brighter. Next, I went and looked on the color board to kind of match him to the clip better because before he didn't really blend very well. And one thing that I did to help with this was go to footagecrate.com. I really like them because they have these free kind of assets that you can add on top of your projects. And so I looked and I found some kind of smoke that I wanted to add on top, which I thought would help sell the effects that he's actually there. Next, I'm going to place it on top and add a keyer. And this is the same process that you do for your actor on top of green screen. So if since I didn't show you how to do it before, here's how you do it now. And then I place that fog anywhere on the clip, really, just trying to make it match better. And I also color corrected it, so it kind of matched that lightning color. So the next thing I did was I scrubbed through the clip, and I looked at where you saw the lightning and where you didn't. So normally, if the character would be there, you would see some of that kind of light impacting the color of the character. So in order to get this effect of more that he's actually there. I color corrected him a little bit more afterwards to kind of match the color of the clip and then I also went to the clips where you didn't see any of that lightning and I made him darker and I tried to make him blend into the background better. And then that is your final result. Now this can get a lot more complicated or it can be easier if you just have there's not even a character there where you're trying to replace it. It kind of all just depends on the scene and it's a lot harder if the camera's moving because then you need a 3D tracker. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please comment down below, like, and please subscribe because it really helps support me making videos. So thank you so much and have a great day.